This is question 36. College board is asking about points on a circle. We're given n points of a diameter. So the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, where the center is the point hk, and the radius is equal to r. And the center, hk, is midway between points on the diameter. So the x coordinate will be 7 minus 1 over 2, the average of the two values. And the y coordinate will be 3 minus 3 over 2. So hk is 6 over 2 is 3, 0 over 2 is 0. The radius of the circle is the distance from the center to any point on the circumference. And our distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, where x2, y2 will be a point on the circle, such as 7, 3. And x1, y1 will be the point at the center, 3, 0. And those differences are squared. 7 minus 3 squared is 4 squared. 3 minus 0 squared is 3 squared. And that's familiar. That's 16 plus 9. Square root is root 25 equals 5. So my radius is 5. Substituting hk here and r into the equation for the circle gives me x minus 3 squared plus y minus 0 squared is just y squared equals r squared is 5 squared. Now that I have the equation of the circle, I can answer their question. If x equals 0 and y equals b, is a point on the circle, so a point that satisfies this equation, what is the value of b? So that's 0 minus 3 squared plus b squared equals 5 squared, which is 25. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. Subtracting 9 from both sides to get b squared by itself, I have b squared equals 16. Square root of both sides, b equals positive or negative 4. I'm going with positive 4 because they told us b is the positive coordinate. So the y coordinate of the point 0b will be 4. And if I check that, 0 minus 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25. It is a point on the circle. College Board typically asks a question involving the equation of a circle, and I will typically write x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared before I start thinking about how to solve it, because I usually have to either complete the square to get to that form, or interpret that form to answer their question. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.